so what do we got here? So we're gonna do an engine swap in this Mark 1 Caddy. Uh, we got a 3.2 VR out of an Audi A3 that we're gonna stuff in this thing. It currently has a diesel engine in it, which probably makes, I don't know, 60, 70 horsepower, uh, if I had to guess. So we're gonna drop the engine in. We got a bunch of parts for it that showed up, and we're gonna spend the evening just opening up the boxes and showing what we have here. So there's quite a bit of stuff we're gonna go through. We got the camera set up, so let's get to it. As I mentioned, we had a bunch of stuff show up. Uh, we basically picked out a Eurowise kit uh, for the bulk of this swap, just basically to make it as bolt in and as clean as possible. We are gonna do the wiring in house um, and tuning and stuff like that. It's all gonna be done in house. Uh, so let's get to opening these boxes. So I'm gonna open them up. Clayton's probably gonna run through uh, exactly what we have. Um, and we'll just chat about it a little bit, show you the items. So the first thing we opened was the uh, high performance electric rad fan. Uh, Dave was saying he runs this on the drag car, really good fan. Yeah, yeah, they're, uh, the, the spout fans are really quality stuff. So if you plan on buying one of these yourself, again, don't expect to spend $30, $40. These are generally, you know, can be a couple of hundred dollars just for a fan. So well, it says right there, it's superior quality. It, it's, <laughs> it's obviously, yeah, it's, it's superior. It's superior. Uh, the next thing which I was kind of excited about was the uh, very custom red for this vehicle. Yeah, so they offer Eurowise, um, and just note guys, this is not a sponsored Eurowise video or anything like that. There's a few companies that make kits for these cars and this engine kind of thing, but this is just the kit that we ended up going with, and this is the first time we've had the, their gear in-house. So. Um, it's kind of why I wanted to do a little bit of a box opening with this. So back to what I was saying, this is obviously a custom built rad. Um, they do have an option for um, uh, fan shroud as well. I didn't go with that on this. It's, it's cooler temperature here where we're located. So I think this fan with that, or that fan with this rad is gonna do more than enough for this. Yeah, so as I was saying, really nice welds on it. You got all the bungs for everything that you need. Um, just really nice piece. Came with the clamps, came with a couple hoses, just everything you need. Yeah. Really. Alright. Boxes inside of boxes. thing we had was the clutch cable kit, um, custom cable, and the actuator is all custom built as well. So, And anybody that put an O2J in a well, Mark 1, Mark 2, Mark 3, doesn't matter what, um, that uses the, um, the Eurovan cable uh, or actuator, I should say, this is a much nicer piece. Um, you either also, switch, yeah, you're either switching to hydro yes, or, or you're keeping the cable right. set up. So again, this was an easier setup to just keep the cable conversion and go with this kit. Yeah. And I know probably with you as well, uh, most of the time you have to make like a custom bracket to bolt to your transmission. Uh, it comes with this, you know, nicely billet piece as well. So nice kit. This is the uh, pedal conversion kit for a drive by wire uh, throttle pedal. So again, very simple setup. You're basically going to bolt it in. You're going to put the drive by wire throttle pedal on this so another nice piece so next up the subframe mount this is uh, basically bolts to both frame rails and um, gives the center mounting point which again is going to bolt in to the stock location the stock location is basically just a rad support it's thin metal which bolts do so I think the VR would probably rip a stock mount right out if you yeah. didn't have this reinforcement yeah and the mount sticks way out further on the Mark 1, which isn't going to be used, obviously, in this case. Yeah. The stock not I mean. Another axle. We'll just show one because basically they're both the same, except for one is obviously longer than the other. Yeah, pretty straightforward, the axles. Yeah, we're not opening uh, it. It's sealed up. Yeah, so. 
they're, again, they're just to cut the right lengths for this engine in this chassis. So and proper cup to spindle. Yep, exactly. Okay. No, no. Quality handmade by your own. Packing's actually pretty good. We got some stickers and stuff. Oh yeah, the mouth oh. kit. All right, so this is one of the more important parts of this kit. So we went over it, basically every mount that you need for the vehicle. Um, quite nice, nice welds on them. A uh, little bit of machining work on these or plasma cut out with the uh, Eurowise logo. Yeah, and all the bolts, um, the mounts, the bushings, all everything. The, yeah, all the bushings you need. Yeah, bolts, it is all like really nicely packaged as well. Like everything, it's. Everything's there, you kind of know what it is, so good stuff. Can you get that, Martha? No, they were earning it, just cut it. Completely custom built, going to give us some more ground clearance for this thing and uh, a little more strength because the factory pan on that engine would be aluminum. So, yeah, so it, yeah, it comes with the gasket and stuff for it. Down pipe. Display, trying to open boxes and unpackage stuff on camera is a little bit weird, so we're not quite unboxers. Okay, so the headers, downpipe, whatever you want to call them, pretty straightforward setup, but again, definitely required to fit this engine in this car. Um, I am going to match it up to a Tectonics uh, Catback exhaust which isn't here yet, but uh, that's something else we're waiting on. But yeah, just a little closer view of this. So, O2J diff. Yeah. This is a Pelican differential for the O2J. There is slight differences between the O2A and O2J. Just for bolt-in cups versus press-in. Um, but yeah, these are very nice setups. They come, these specific Pelican diffs come with the bearings, the seals, ARP bolts, everything needed for this thing. So um, when you purchase that kit, you don't need to buy anything else. So I've run pretty much all the upgraded diffs in Volkswagens over the years. Wave Track, Pelican, Quaif, um, they're all pretty much pretty close to the same. A uh, little bit of difference in the price between them all. I run a Pelican in my drag car. It's held up to a lot of abuse, so I feel very comfortable with putting one of these in this thing. On that note, um, this was a little bit of an oddball video, just being an unboxing, not not something I would typically get into, uh, but. There it is. We'll probably do one other video about this thing when it's completely finished, uh, when we got it on the dyno to see what it'll make for power. So until the next video, be sure to like and subscribe. If you have any questions or comments, ask them below. Anything else, Clayton? No. That's We're it. We're good. See you in the next video. Dave, what do we got here? You think this is it? That's what we're doing. Well, f you didn't tell me. You didn't prepare me. This is how we go into it. You said you wanted to get into yeah, the Yeah, yeah, I know, but you, I, you, I didn't know it. Okay, let's All right. do it. Oh my God, it's classic.